So here we have a new 2023 Chevrolet Tahoe Premier. And this Tahoe comes in black on jet black perforated leather interior. The powertrain consists of a 5.3 liter naturally aspirated V8, made it with a 10 speed automatic transmission. And as you get to the front end here, we have our LED daytime running lights along with LED headlamps. And I really love the chromed out grill here and even the accents. I wish they would have done gloss black here instead of this plastic, but other than that, a really sleek look. Really like that. And as we go to the side here, we have 22 inch aluminum wheels. And it's kind of got that classic luxury look in my opinion on this Tahoe here. And then I think we have a $1,900 or $1,800 option for these power running boards with perimeter lighting. And over here to the door panel, we have our power door locks, memory seating. Then we have our power windows and then the front two, you can one touch up and down. And then we have power folding mirrors with blind spot monitors. We can lock our windows here and then power mirror controls there. Really good storage in the door panel here. And I believe we have a 10 speaker Bose sound system. And up here we have an electronic parking brake. Just press that to engage and then hit the brake and press it again to disengage. And then we have our lane departure there, auto stop drive modes, four wheel drive, headlamp controls, and then a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And here we have our power driver's seat with power lumbar support. And I really like how they put this gray stitching throughout so it's not just all black. It looks really, really sleek. We get passive keyless entry on all four doors. And then for this second row seat, hit this to fold down. And then you can use this to actually slide the seat back and forth. Let's hop in here and see if I can get these screens to come on. So these are gonna be the dual 12.6 screens. as part of the rear entertainment system. I think it's an $1,800 option. And then you can hook up HDMI ports, YouTube, Hulu. You can just toggle that on and off there. And then you'll have to use the Wi-Fi hotspot to get that going. But I really like the screens, very intuitive, pretty easy to use when they're hooked up. And then that's my leg room there. So I'm just barely touching the back. And then when I actually scoot the seat all the way back, no issue whatsoever. Plenty of space and the seat in front of me is adjusted for someone of my size, very impressed. Down here we have our rear AC controls, which are automatic. And you can toggle that auto mode there for the fan speed, dial that down, turn it all the way off. You can adjust temperature there. And you can adjust where you want the fan to blow. And then we have three stage heated outboard seats here. Those two HDMI ports for the rear entertainment system and then two USB-C charging ports there. And then we even have a 110 volt household plug-in. So you can plug your Xbox in here and play it, no problem. It's one of my favorite things about having a rear entertainment system. And there's that third row. Let's see if I can get back there. So that's my leg room there. Basically jammed in there, but you can make it work. Like I said, I'm 6'3", and if I screw the seat up a little bit more, that's kind of my foot space there. So not bad. You can definitely fit your kids back here, no problem. And then you have a USB-C charging port here, cup holder. And I really like how they put these vents up here. Very sleek, you can just barely tell they're there, but they blow really well. Let's go and check out the cargo space next. Now 
And then we have our tail lights there, dual exhaust. There's a power lift gate. So not bad storage back here. And you have a little bit underneath, but if you want more space, when the seats are up far enough in that second row, you can power fold this third row up and down. There's a three prong household plug in there. And we can also power fold that second row. It's got a power release, excuse me. Then you have to manually put them back up. Well, let's hit up this window sticker before we check out the front passenger seat. You all can pause to check out all the options. This one's stickered at 78,255. But here's that power front passenger seat with power lumbar support. And glove compartment with owner's manuals. Let's go ahead and check out this engine bay before we hop in the driver's seat. And here's a look at that 5.3 liter V8. Now let's hop in. So to start, really nice leather wrap heated steering wheel. You can toggle that there. Pretty much have huge hands and I could fit them all throughout here, which is nice, depending on how I like to drive. And then over here, we have that new 10.2 inch Google Assistant screen. So we have our Google Maps pulled up here. Very, very quick, easy to use. We get AM, FM, XM radio along with Bluetooth audio. And then you have Google Podcasts, Google News, and you can use your USB input. But we have wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, which is really my favorite thing to use. And there we have our backup camera, with our guidelines that turn with the steering wheel. And then down below, we have our dual zone automatic climate controls. So we have our three stage heat and cooled seats as well down here. And then the actual AC controls, you can pull up on the screen as well. Pretty high def picture there. You can control where the air is going. Set the auto mode, blah, blah, blah. You can sync as well. And then just cut it off completely. And you can actually control the rear from up here as well. So below here, of course we have the knobs, like I said, but we have a USB-C, USB-A port there, a 12 volt and a really nice size wireless charging pad. We have cup holders here, our center console cubby space here. And I like how it's actually nice and wide as opposed to being taken up on the sides there. So you can put bigger objects in there. Not necessarily taller objects, but. And then there we have our optional, I think it's $1,600 power panoramic sunroof there with the sunshade. Which I absolutely love how they did it in these Tahoe Suburbans. There's a view of the back from up here. And then over here we have our universal home remote. We can power fold the third row as well as activate that power lift gate. And then we have sunroof controls here. But over to the steering wheel, we have our cruise controls we can toggle here. Forward collision alert, the gap adjust, of course the heated steering wheel toggle I was talking about earlier. And then to the right side, we have our voice recognition, mute, and then these knobs and arrows here are gonna be for that gauge cluster, which is going to be all digital. 
And behind the steering wheel on the left side, we have our track list, radio station favorite controls we can toggle. And then behind the steering wheel on the right side, we have our volume controls. There's our push button start. Finally, here we have our key fob with remote start. 